What is going on guys? So this is a rapid reaction to the national championship Bulldogs of the University of Georgia. Now I was able to be out in LA, uh, went into Vegas, drove to Los Angeles and watched the game at SoFi. Uh, not super impressed with the venue. Uh, from the outside it, it's beautiful, but uh, the Roof leaked, but cement was very, very slick. I saw multiple people fall. So uh, if you are heading to SoFi for anything and you uh, you see rain in the forecast, do be careful. Wear special shoes um, and uh, prepare for the rain because it is a long walk, even from designated parking areas uh, to get into SoFi. So if it is raining, you are going to get wet, guys. It may have a roof, but it leaked and uh, rained all over the poor TCU fans that made the incredible journey. They traveled really hard. Had a lot. That, that was not a takeover. That was definitely a 50-50 stadium, and the TCU fans were loud uh, in SoFi. But... Um, Guys, this was a game for the ages for the Georgia program. They are now back-to-back -back national champions. I'm sure Georgia Twitter is going to be insufferable for the next uh, year. Um, but this was a nearly flawless game plan for Georgia's offense. The defense, I think, felt a bit disrespected listening to people talk about the Ohio State game and Stroud just absolutely cruising through their defense, which I was one of the ones to say that, uh, and I think they took offense to that a little bit. Uh, with the exception of one blown coverage and Max Duggan running, running in, TCU didn't score. Uh, and on the flip side of that, complimentary football, which Kirby talks about all the time, Georgia did. Georgia punted one time. It was the opening drive of the second half with the game well in hand. Um, even the four and uh, fifth backs we're running there at the fourth quarter, scoring touchdowns. Um, so congratulations to Georgia. Stetson Bennett goes out as the best quarterback to play at Georgia. No, he doesn't have the career stats, but he did surpass Aaron Murray for single season passing yards. It's the first time Georgia's went 15-0. and 0, And the first time we've seen a back-to-back -back champion since the 11-12 and 12 Alabama team, both led by McCarron. So... Uh, this is a special time, guys, and Kirby said it in the post-game press conference, and I happen to very much believe that. Do not take this for granted. Georgia traveled just as well as TCU did. It was all the way across the country, and, and don't, you know, rest on the laurels or anything. This is the glory days that people talk about. These are the fun times. You know, this is what those of us who went through the Joe Cox era, the ones at uh, the beginning where, you know, we won the 2002 SEC championship game, couldn't get over the hump, won the, the 2005 SEC championship game with Shockley, couldn't get over the hump, and then that those years of, of Alabama coming into Athens and we lost. Let's go to Tuscaloosa and we lost the SEC championship in 2012. But we lost on the last play where the clock ran out and, and being right there and feeling, you know, man, it's, it would just be nice to get right there, just to get over the hump, just to do it, you know. And we did that last year. Georgia got there, beat Alabama 33-18, uh, the Ringo pick of what everybody remembers. But being able to come into this season, go undefeated, and win a championship game by the largest margin of victory in any bowl game in uh, the AP poll era, which goes all the way back to the 30s, uh, that's special. So if you're a Georgia fan out there, enjoy these times, enjoy these moments. Do not take it for granted, and don't automatically assume that this is just uh, uh, a dynasty. I'm not going to call it that yet. It's still very much Alabama has won Six national championships. Saban's still there. I still think he's an incredible head coach. And he's the best to do it on history right now. So don't rest on the laurels. Keep enjoying football. Uh, I am already got a countdown on my phone going into September. I am so ready. Uh, but love the fact that Georgia has went back-to-back. -back. We have waited a long time 
I waited forever to see the first one and be able to do a second one. Just a year later, uh, Facebook popped up with like, oh, here's where you were a year ago, and it was me and Indy at that national championship, and all I put was deja vu. And uh, it's a great feeling, guys. So enjoy the hell out of back-to-back you know, and realize that these are the glory days. We'll tell our grandkids about these days of the days of old Stetson Bennett and Brock Bowers taking us uh, back to back when Kirby was just starting out. Maybe he's in his 20th season then or 30th season then if he can continue to go. So, um, guys, this championship game was very one sided, was absolutely and utterly dominated by the dogs. And shout out TCU. The fans traveled. They had a spectacular season, and they absolutely deserve to be one of the four teams in there. Stop. Nobody was saying they didn't deserve that when they beat Michigan. Okay? Nobody was saying they shouldn't be there. Everybody knew they should be there. They handled Michigan, handled their business, and got to the game. Maybe it was just a little bit of the bright lights of a championship, and Georgia had be, have been there. Uh, gave them an edge. I'm not really sure what gave them such an edge, but uh, that pregame speech from Kirby was great, and we are excited around here. We're headed to Athens Saturday for the parade and the national championship celebration. So be in Athens Saturday. Enjoy it. It starts at 12:30, going down Baxter, and uh, we'll go up uh, into the stadium. So. Pay attention for the dog walk there, the parade. It's going to be another spectacular time. And uh, if you want a little bit more breakdown into this game, head on over to Bro Pinions, where me, John the Stone, and our special guest, Nick, uh, are over there. He happened to be a TCU fan, and you get a little perspective on that. So head on over there, listen to Bro Pinions, uh, episode six and that'll give you a little bit more detail but i did want to jump on here for a rapid reaction of the dogs bringing back-to-back championships to athens there it is my way living his best life and bringing a lot of pride and joy back to his alma mater and uh, to the state of Georgia. So for all those dog fans out there, be loud, be proud, because we are once again national champions. Fam Jam, go dogs.